I don't have a very good name for this one. So we're just gonna call it Elephant Walks for the calves. So my Elephant Walk is here, and I'm systematically extending one leg to basically target the hamstring. If I elevate my foot and I get to here, I can do the same thing for my calf. Now it turns out I've got fairly flexible calves, so a lot of the positions that we're looking at here might not be realistic for you, so you'll have to tinker around a little bit. Most people, when they start this, are tight to the degree that this is like, oh, excruciating. And so I'm working to extend my leg. This basically tightens up my hamstring, which is gonna pull on my knee, which is going to force my calf to get all the attention here. And especially because this foot is elevated, I'm gonna be isolating generally this portion. Now you may feel it elsewhere, but that's what we're going for. If you could get this low, that would be fantastic. That somewhat implies that you maybe don't need the movement, but you might be up here. The setup, and I apologize if this is confusing, I keep going back and forth, but just so you can see stuff better, is going to be one up on the riser and one down, and a couple of key points here. I'm trying to keep my hips square, so basically my hips elevate in unison. There's gonna be a tendency, I can see it better on this side, there's gonna be a tendency for, in order to make space, ugh, I'm kind of pushing myself off to the side, trying to avoid doing that, keep myself stacked up over my leg. You can actually see the other error here is my heel coming up, I'm trying to keep that down as well. If, as I push, I basically give myself space with my back foot, no good. I'm trying to force this section right here to get long, systematically, and pulse through. Squeeze the quad, elevate the foot, the other foot is dropped. Now, how high of a riser do you have to have this on? It doesn't have to be anything in particular. Once you find the stretch, you know you have it, so it could be on the edge of a plate or a book or whatever the case may be. As far as your upper body position goes, no joke, I've got folks this high and this is effective versus myself, you can probably hunker down, oh, maybe all the way to the ground because I'm fairly open through my calves. This makes the greater part of the chain elephant walks gets primarily hamstring up a little bit into the glute, sometimes a little back. This movement gets more calf and into a little part of the hamstring and then that FHL toe pulse gets into this bottom section. Those three all together make our unlocker for all of our posterior chain activities.